stars and welcome to Wednesday Wrap Up. This is the Barn Tour Part 2. So if you wanted to see all the horses that we have here at the Institute, um, check out Part 1. So Part 2, we're on this side of the stables. Now this side of the stables doesn't have windows. So can you already tell? These are not my favourite horses. <laughs> and I shouldn't say that. I love all my horses. George is like, oh! but it's true. There's, there's, there's eight horses and five window spots. Um, so let's go meet the first one. Now this is a very special, fun, interesting horse. If anyone is in the Dressage Mastery program with Reloaded, they would know Felix very well. So Felix was born, his mum is a warm blood thoroughbred and his dad is Yorit, who's next to him. You'll meet Yorit in a sec. And um, when he was born, he was really friendly as a foal. He was just this cute, gorgeous, friendly foal. And my husband, Phil, was like, that's my horse. I'm calling my horse Felix and that's my horse. And I was like joking, oh yeah, okay. But then whenever it came up that, you know, we have to sell some horses, who should we sell? And I'd be like, all right, let's sell Felix. Phil was like, no, you can't sell Felix, that's my horse. I'm like, what are we doing with your horse? He's like, you're keeping it and training it to Grand Prix and then I'm riding it. I'm like, really, dude? Really? I don't think so. Um, but he's still around and Phil always, you know, still gives him a special pat and he's like, how's my horse going? So um, he is getting trained by one of the riders here, Gabby, and um, he's going really well. He's very, very tricky. He's um, got the Frisian connection, which means he's very short in the neck. He loves to go behind the vertical. He lives there. He just loves it. It's his favourite place to be, which means you as a rider really need to have the skills to be able to ride a horse out into the bridle and out into the contact, where if you haven't ridden that before, it can take years and years to learn. Trust me, I've gone through that. It takes years and years to learn. So he's tricky. He's also got a bit of attitude, which comes from his dad. Um, but it's definitely manageable. He's a nice gelding. So, hey, if we tell you don't do that, do it our way. You listen, don't you? <laughs> but he actually has amazing movement, like the best walk trot canter ever, and I cannot wait to see his PF. So he's, he's very interesting, aren't you? You're interesting. But he's over on this side because I don't ride him. He's not technically one of my horses. Um, so he sits on this side. Then we get to the next not technically one of my horses, and this is Yorit. So Yorit is Felix's dad. Yorit um, was a very, very good horse in Holland. He nearly got approved as a stallion. And um, he was a carriage horse as well as a dressage horse. And I really think he probably should have stayed more a carriage horse. Um, he's, he's the most talented horse I've ever sat on. If you talk talent, his walk trot canter is the best I've ever had the opportunity to sit on. His canter stride feels like it goes for about 10 seconds. You're just in the air. Um, but mentally, he doesn't want to be a dressage horse. He's like, um, I don't know if you were in English or maths, but what are you doing? I'm trying to do a video here, dude. Um, but to me, I was always much better at English than I was at maths. And if you pushed me into maths and if you told me I had to do like the hard maths at school, I would be really bad at school. Um, and that's kind of your it. He's got this amazing talent and this amazing ability to do dressage, but he doesn't want to do it. And we tried for years and years and years and years and years and years and all different techniques and all different trainers and all different, different everything. And he still doesn't want to do it. So he is on this side of the barn because I think he needs to be sold to someone that doesn't want to do dressage. Um, he loves to hack. He loves, actually, we all think he'd be a good jumper. Um, the Frisian that jumps. So yeah, that's, that's, he's still being ridden at the moment. Julie, my rider, rides him and he does medium. He does flying changes. He's got the most amazing PF. Oh my God, amazing PF without him even trying. God forbid if he actually tried. Um, but that's your story. Then we've got Robbie. Now I bought Rob and Fred at the same time. They were both two year olds. I got them from Bloomfield Stud in Australia. And um, I actually went to buy this one. This one made sense. This one's got really good bloodlines. His dad is Royal Hit, who's sired a lot of um, successful horses in Australia. And I was like, oh, okay, we'll buy the Runger. Um, <laughs> and he had a really good walk, a really good trot and a really good canter. And so I went out to Bloomfield and I went to see him. And then I was like, oh, heard like you have a black one. And and they showed me the black one and I was like, buy it. So technically I bought both of them. Um, but he, he is an old soul. So we've broken him in and he is just a 20 year old horse. He, nothing has phased him. The entire breaking in, breaking in pro uh, process was dead easy. He's never done anything wrong. He doesn't shy. He doesn't, you know, where are you going? Don't get the dog. Um, he doesn't do anything. Um, and he's just really easy and soft to ride. He wants to do what you want. He's just really easy going. Um, but he is orange. <laughs> I'm not going to hold that against you, but you are orange and you have a big white nose. 
So I don't ride him either. He's actually also in the Reloaded Dressage Mastery Program and Julie rides him. And um, he'll be trained more, competed, and then probably sold, I don't know. Like I said, I really try to divide in my mind. This side is horses that need to be trained and sold. This side is my horses. But I don't know if five's enough, so you're just laughing at me again. But so far we've kept to five. And I don't ride Arbor anymore, Ali rides Arbor. So technically I only have four. So we shall see. I've got three stables left, so I don't know if they're gonna become horses in training or if they're gonna become Tasha's new Olympic horses, but we'll see what happens. So that's the barn tour. I trust you've had fun and um, I'll see you soon.